low suction pressure cutout, or low pressure cutout as we've chosen to call it, is a safety device that is installed on each compressor in an ammonia refrigeration system. Hi, I'm Peter Thomas, President and Senior Engineer at Resource Compliance. The purpose of a low pressure cutout is to de-energize a compressor when the suction pressure deviates below the acceptable limit, protecting the compressor from excessive energy consumption and high discharge temperature. The International Institute of Ammonia Refrigeration, IIAR, requires that low pressure cutouts be installed on each compressor per standard two. Typically, low pressure cutouts on reciprocating compressors utilize electromechanical switches, while screw compressors often employ pressure transducers. As with any safety device, it is important that low pressure cutouts be periodically tested for proper operation. IIAR standard six requires that low pressure cutouts be tested at least annually. It should be emphasized that only qualified persons are allowed to test a low pressure cutout. A successful test will de-energize the compressor, though it is important that trained personnel be available to restart the equipment after completing the test. Before testing a low pressure cutout, make sure to notify facility management that the test will be taking place. Once approved, the cutout test can commence. First, verify that the low pressure cutout set point is within the compressor's safe operating range. A low pressure cutout on a high stage compressor should be above atmospheric pressure. Testing the low pressure cutout can be accomplished by adjusting the set point to within the compressor's normal suction pressure range. Once the set point has been changed, the compressor will de-energize, thus concluding the test. After completing the test, the alarms can be cleared and the compressor restarted. As with all tests, it is important to document the results as necessary to demonstrate what took place. Visit our website, resourcecompliance.com, for more compliance and mechanical integrity related content.